spreading at an explosive rate. That's how scientists are describing the Zika virus. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us. The virus is spreading in Central and South America, and it appears to particularly be dangerous for pregnant women. Now expected moms with planned trips to Zika-infected nations are scrambling to cancel those trips. WCBI Summer Rascal joins us in the studio now with one local woman's story. Summer? Andrea, symptoms of the virus are similar to the flu and will pass within weeks in most people, but the risks are much higher and much bigger for unborn babies. Natoya Sanders is expecting her first child, but that joy switched to a little bit of worry as the Zika virus headlines hit the wire. Her and her husband were planning to go to Jamaica, but Sanders was tipped off about the dangers from a friend at the CDC. Just keep an eye out on it, you know, and talk to your doctor. Her doctor had some strong advice. I really hate it, you know, but I really would advise you not to go. So they canceled their trip, at least for now. Looking at the birth defects, and it's just really not worth the risk. Those risks are pretty big for babies born infected. The main one being microcephaly, where the baby's head is exceptionally small. There's less brain development, so you're looking at mental retardation. Luckily, OBGYN Dr. Pamela Lacey says we don't have to worry about the virus spread by infected mosquitoes as long as we stay in the U.S. We don't. So the women that have it in the United States are women that have traveled to those areas of countries that have the Zika virus. Those areas include Mexico and South America. Doctors recommend pregnant women do not travel to those areas. And Dr. Lacey says she does not expect the mosquitoes to make their way to the U.S. Now, Dr. Lacey says if you are infected now, once your body fights off the infection, you can get pregnant with no side effects from the virus. And, Andrea, the virus does not pass from person to person. All right, so I'm a rascal in our studio with that story.